Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make about 50k coins on day one of the AFC very, very easily, just putting a bit of time in, but quickly before we do get into today's video, if you aren't around, be sure to subscribe to the channel notifications to not miss any more videos on the channel. I'm going to be posting all the best AFC 24 content, including trading, including starter teams, the best players to use, SBCs, player reviews and all that sort of stuff, so make sure you are sub when notice turned on. If you do enjoy this and it does help you out, smash a thumbs up and your thoughts on this in the comments below, so I'm straight into it right now. Okay, guys, so method number one is going to be one that is super easy for everyone to go ahead and complete. And it's actually going to be by coming over to the moments tab. As you know, we have moments this year. It's been here the entire year and you get a couple of rewards. Like you can just play some games and get some rewards. If we do come to like so some of the uh, moments, if we just do take a look. So here are the rewards that we can get. As you can see, for like a, for 10 stars, you can get a 25k pack. For 15, you get 83 plus players. Obviously, it's going to be a bit different. The rewards will probably be a bit different at the start of the game when EAFC 24 does drop. But you get the idea, right? You can open some packs with a few stars. There's not that many stars to start getting some packs. You probably also get a rewarded like a, a lone player, depending on, um, you know, who, who they end up doing the first story around. I think at the start of the year last year, it was Mbappe, if I'm correct. But if we do uh, come and take a look at just something like the very first ones, the foundation ones, for example, passing number one, you can earn one star by passing the ball. You have to just pass the ball 10 times. Number two is you pass from goalkeeper to center back, center back to center mid, center mid striker. Number three is take one one shot on target these are literally going to take you like 30 seconds to complete each one and there is 10 stars up for grab there so within about five minutes maybe 10 at the very most you're going to earn yourself 10 10 stars and at this point in the game it's going to get a 25k pack like i said the rewards might be slightly different in afc 24 but the next one again it says finesse shot take one finesse shot that is literally it you get one assist you get a complete five lob passes don't lose possession very simple to do and it's another nine stars so you can really rack up some stars by putting in some very a very small amount of time it's not going to take you long to get through these at all and as you can see you these packs that you can open i haven't got any um stars unfortunately i was going to show you but if you open any of these these are these are literally tradable packs they're not untradable so you can go ahead and open these and make some coins and start selling some of the players and the items from within these packs to start getting your first few coins on the afc 24 the next method we're going to be talking about, guys, is just as easy as the first one, if not even easier, to be honest. You're going to come over to Objectives, and we're going to come to the Foundations tab. And when we do come to the Foundations one, guys, if we just take a little look through, you're going to see some that offer us some coins. So the first one, Position Swap. All you need to do is move a preferred player into their preferred position. So let's say, for example, you've got a left back and a left mid, but he's a left winger. All you simply need to do, even without buying any players or anything, is move the left back into left mid, and then move the left mid, or the left back from left mid back into left back. It's going to give you that nice, quick fire. 500 coins build a squad of at least 22 chemistry from your starter players that you get from the nation that you pick you should be able to build a squad with 22 chemistry if you get all the positions right you know you set up a formation where you can get everyone into the positions from the same nation you should be able to do this that's already a thousand coins we can then go through the basics we're going to go okay earn one star from foundations moments so again from going to complete those foundation moments not only are you going to earn stars to put into packs you're going to get another 150 coins basic two as you can see is another 150 coins buy one player from the transfer market just by going through these foundations guys you can really start earning a good amount of um, coins just from doing some objectives that really aren't going to take that long apply a position change item obviously it's not going to be an efc 24 because we've not got position modifiers um but then you've got play the squad battles uh featured squad again squad battles game modes have been shortened so it's a very very fast way of earning another 250 coins all you got to do is go and play against the featured squad it's going to take you maybe six minutes uh, in in game time plus a bit of half time 250 coins right there you complete all of that you get 500 coins so just by going through these guys you can start earning some decent coins list one player 150 coins buy three players 250 coins apply chemistry style 150 coins you can earn maybe up to 5k just going through these foundation objectives let alone any objectives that might be in the game at the start that might offer some coins or might offer some packs that are tradable so that's another great way of getting some coins off the start the next one is obviously sniping and you know trying to invest in not invest in players but buy players for cheap and sell them on so a bit trading again i said to you at the start of this video i'll show you some of the best sniping filters i'll probably be releasing two to three videos on just sniping filters alone every single day so you guys can have the best sniping filters to earn yourself a good amount of coins on the first couple weeks of the AFC 24. So make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on so that you guys can go ahead and check those out when they do drop. But also in terms of trading, not only are you going to go off of my filters that I recommend you, but you can come to the squad builder challenges. And if we do come to the foundations tab, this works every single year. So foundations one, what you're going to want to do is um, have, where is it? Exactly three players in your start at 11, right? So yeah, I think it's this one that works really well. You need a left mid, a center mid and a right mid all from the same nation. I believe it's this one, but there's you can just go through the SBCs and see what there are and see if there's any sort of players that you go, right, okay, I don't have any of these players in my club. 
there's a good chance nobody else does either. So their value is probably going to be quite expensive. But yeah, there's one of them that you do need a left mid, a center mid, and a right mid, all from the same nation. It doesn't matter what, what league they're from, but all from the same nation. So if you went and done English, for example, and you went onto the market and searched for English left mids or English right mids, they're probably going to be worth a good amount of coins. It doesn't matter what rating you go for. You can quite simply just go to um, left mid or right mid. Let's go right mid just because it's there. Bump that up to like 250 coins. See if there's anything that's there. If not, then sweet. You can carry on going up. But like I said, you want to make sure you're setting it to a specific nation. So we could try England, for example, right? So there would be one at 350. That's a de decent little deal if they were all the ones. Okay, so it actually looks like we could try and potentially show you how to do this. Um, so there's 450. If we go up to 500, they're going for around about 450 coins. So you'd want to be trying to snipe these for... You could probably get away with 350. I don't think you'll lose tax on that. So then you're simply just going to sit here and try and snipe some of these right mids that are going to pop up. Obviously, at this time of year, no one's packing common cards that are tradable. Um, I mean, they might be, and I have just might have just missed that. But no, we managed to get it, I'm pretty sure. Right, cool. We managed to get that. So I'm then going to simply go and list that. 400 coins. Um, and yeah, I mean... Yeah, 400 coins, we can list that up for. He's going to go sell him on for a bit of profit. So this is what you want to be doing on day one, guys. Find the positions in the SBCs that are worth something, you know, that you might not have in your club. Go and check their prices on the market. Or even if you find yourself doing an SBC and you need to buy a player, if you find they're quite expensive, it's a good filter to use. It's a great filter to go ahead and try for yourself. And it will most likely work. So you can go ahead and do that. And honestly, the final method, guys, is just grinding the game. Just going out, having fun, playing the game, playing your Div Rivals games, your, your, whatever it might be that is that you are playing. You're just going to go through and you're going to play. And the reason for this is you're going to start earning rewards. You're going to go through some of the objectives. You're going to start completing objectives while you're playing. You're going to be able to start building your team up. You're going to get some coins from playing games. You're probably going to have um, game boosts, coin boosts on. So every time you finish a game, you get an extra thousand coins or something like that. So just by playing the game and having fun, like, you know, once you've bought your first little starter team or whatever it is that you want to do, you can start then earning coins simply by going through and just playing the game which is a great way to earn some coins of course it's going to give some it's going to have some fun and obviously at the start of the game everybody's going to be grinding and with grinding you're going to go through these season objectives um i mean a lot of the packs are untradeable especially at this time of year i can't remember if they were at the start of the year or not i just can't remember off the top of my head but you can start going through these season objectives as well as some of your other objectives and milestones and stuff like that so it's a very very easy way to earn some more coins guys and start building your club up is simply by playing games and you know just enjoying the game for what it is when it first comes out because I know we're all going to be grinding our absolute balls off when this game does drop. At least I will. And I know that for a fact. I'll be doing 12 to 20 days, hour days on this game as soon as it does drop. So yeah, those are the best ways to make coins. And probably start with around about 50,000 coins on day one of the AFC 24, guys. If you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for all the best AFC 24 content that you guys are going to want to be seeing. But if you guys have enjoyed, like I said, smash the thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. And I'll catch you on the next one in a bit. Peace.